Zach of the EC Master here. Today we're showing off the EC Master battery isolator. There are two versions of this. This is the Radlock version. And you'll see what I mean in a minute once I get this sleeve off. So this is a solid state battery isolator. Uh, it's also a battery disconnect. Um, so here's the device itself. Beautiful little CNC machine enclosure. Um, it will do 300 amps continuous, 1,000 peak. Uh, it's a CAN bus device, so it's intelligent. It transmits information in real time. I'll go in more into detail on that in just a minute here. We set this down, get the rest of the components out. Install instructions. These are the Radlock connectors for either side of the device for the battery connections in and out. This goes on the positive side, not the ground side. Here's the mating connector for the Autosport connector. It's a six position. Um, absolutely minuscule little contacts, very tidy little connector with a pinning and depinning tool. So Radlock connectors are neat because they are a quick disconnect. So that's all it takes to install the connector. There's a red tab here, push that down, pull it, and you can release it. So no tools, no risk of someone on the team over tightening one, breaking a stud off. Um, it's a very, very clean, very clever connection. Uh, what's neat about this device, it has two analog inputs for switches. So you can use momentary switches for kill. You can kill with a CAN message. It's like our PMU-16 has accelerometers built in. So in the event of an impact, it can send a message to this to tell the battery isolator to disconnect the entire electrical system because there was an impact. Um, it can send the current transmission through the device over CAN bus in real time at a resolution of four amps. So from zero to 1,000 amps, it can send a message within four amps that tells the, the total current usage in real time. Um, but yeah, very clever, nice way to integrate it with all your other systems in the car. It is FIA compliant, so this is an FIA compliant device. It's all FIA specs. Um, again, it replaces mechanical contact. It's very clumsy ways of doing kill switches, um, and it's rated to 300 amps at real temperature seen in the race car. The temperatures aren't inflated, they're not unrealistic. So and again, very tidy, very compact device. Uh, add some reliability to your racing program and some safety at the same time. Thanks for watching.